Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share a roundup of patterns and fabrics and ideas from the Sewing Bee Series 8 Episode 9. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mention below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our other social media accounts. We're in all the usual places. Is. So the first challenge in the sewing bee, it's the semi-final, so the competition was really hotting up, no room for error, such a high standard. Um, but the first challenge was the pattern challenge where Esme had collaborated with a Japanese designer to design a kimono inspired dress. So uh, the construction details were a bit of a head scratcher for some of the contestants. Um, but what I've done is I've picked out patterns that have got similar design features and are along a similar style for you that you could make and they'll be a lot easier than what the sewing bee contestants had to grapple with. So the first pattern I want to share with you is the Wild Wood Wrap Dress by Sew House 7. It's a super popular pattern, great for summer, and it runs in sizes 0 to 22, and then there's also another size that, that runs from 16 to 34. So the 0 to 22 is a 32 bust, 24 and a half waist, and a 35 hip. And the 22 is a 46 bust, 49 and a half, oh sorry, 46 waist and 55 hip. And then the 16 to 34, the 16 is a 40 bust, um, 37 waist and 47 hip. And the 34 is a 58 bust, 57 and a quarter waist and 65 hip. So a really inclusive size range there. And the pattern itself, it's a classic wrap dress. It's got a wide dolman sleeve um, and it's got a shawl collar and then a wide belt around the waist. It's got um, waist and shoulder pleats for a nice drape around the neckline. So um, the pleats also fit in with the origami theme, which came in later in the show as well. It's got a slim skirt with deep pockets and a wide faced hem. Um, and there's two different options. You can go for the dolman rolled up sleeves or short cut on sleeves. Um, so there's no need to set any sleeves in or anything like that. Um, nice, easy sew. And then there's two hem lengths as well, below the lee and midi length. So it's a really lovely chic dress that's super easy to wear in my opinion. And it sews up brilliantly. They suggest linens, cottons, those sorts of fabrics, perfect for summer. And the fabric I thought I'd show you is one of these seven berry fabrics. And these are actually classed as Japanese um, Nara homespun fabrics. They're 100% cotton, um, but they've got the feel and appearance of a linen. Um, and they're available. We've got four different designs on the website. We've got this lovely sort of ditzy print and they're all on this deep indigo background. We've got this lovely ditzy print one. Um, and then we've also got a geometric print, which I thought I'd show you as well. I've always loved this design. Um, so it's got like that geometric, um, but it's almost like a floral print, but in geo style. Um, and then there's another floral one and another geometric one available on the site. Just watch the widths on these though, because they're not very wide, these fabrics. Um, but I think they would sew up beautifully into the wildwood dress. Or you could just go for one of our plain cotton linen fabrics. Um, this colour, it's like a sort of it's got a slight hint of rust to it, but it is more of a red than a rust. Um, but a lovely warm earthy tone. You can see it's got nice drape and movement. That's the double layer. I'll just show you the single layer. Um, but this, these come in a range of colours as well. And I'll pop links to those below. But that just takes a bit of inspiration from one of the pattern packets for the larger size. I thought that would work really well and look lovely. And then the other pattern I wanted to show you is another Sew House 7 pattern. It's the Tea House Top and Dress. So what's nice about this is you've got the dress pattern, but you've got a top option as well. It's got a V-line neckline, um, front and back neck yokes, front seams. Um, it's got inseam angle pockets, 
cuffed short dolman sleeves and then there's different lengths so you can go for the top length which is hip length above the knee or a longer dress length um, and then it's got options for ties um, so you can go for a wider um, tie or a narrower tie and yeah you no closures to say you just pull it on over the head and tie it with the waist tie um, this one runs in nought, sizes 0 to 20 so a 32 bust 24 and a half waist and 35 hip and the 20 is a 47 bust 39 and a half waist and 50 hip and again the fabrics are very similar for this one um, lightweight fabrics rayon chalet wool chalet um, cotton lawn cotton voile linen chambray um, so we've got loads of cotton lawns on the website that you could look at we've got the linens that i've shown you um, lots of rayons and things as well to choose from there so that was my other option for the kimono inspired dress and then also there's um, lots of big four patterns that have got similar design features as well they're all available on the website but the one i picked out was McCall 7790 um, which is a Melissa Watson pattern and you've got options for a dress or a jacket with some of the same um, features as the in, uh, kimono inspired dress that Esme designed so it's got like a wide band around the neck it's got the wide sleeves again finished with the cuff the dress has got a really lovely feature it's got like um, a panel that runs there's a slit at the side of the dress and there's a panel that um, runs like a facing but on the right side I suppose you could describe it as and it runs down from um, around that slit and across the front of the hem really nice feature um, it would be lovely to sew I'm sure and this runs in sizes extra small to extra extra large so the extra small is a 29 and a half bust 22 waist 31 and a half hip and the XXL is a 48 oh, 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip and this one works really well in very drapey fluid fabrics so the fabric I chose for that I thought the jacket could look really nice sewn up in this lovely silky soft it's got like a satiny finish to it um, viscose fabric which has got lovely drape and movement and this paisley print in a really neutral tones and I think if you wore like an indigo um, pair of jeans and then just a white um, vest top or tank top with that over the top I think it'd be a really sophisticated chic summer look casual summer look so then the bees went on to do the transformation challenge and they had to do sashiko which is a Japanese embroidery um, this has been hugely popular in recent years in sewing circles very therapeutic as all hand embroidery and needlework can be um, and I don't know whether you would know this and I just thought I'd mention it in case some people are interested there is actually a Sashiko machine on our website so I'm going to pop a link to that below for you with all the pattern and fabric links um, but you can actually if you're really into it and it's something you'd like to do a lot of you can actually buy a Sashiko machine by baby lock so I just thought I'd throw that in there for anyone who's interested for those of you though who want that mindfulness and that therapeutic um, reward of sitting here hand stitching we've got loads of hand embroidery needles on the website so I'll pop links to those below as well and then finally for the made to measure challenge the bees had to choose an origami inspired um, pattern and make a, a garment with pleats and that origami sort of themed styling to it so there are so many patterns I could have chosen for this there's so many on the website and I do every week create a pin board I've got a pin board for the whole series of all the patterns that I think fit the bill and um, there's a link to our Pinterest account below um, so there's loads more on there but obviously for the purposes of the video I just had to pick out a few but I've just picked out a few of my favorites so the first one is Vogue 1874 um, which runs in sizes from a 6 to a 24 the 6 is a 30 and a half bust 23 waist and 32 and a half hip and the 24 is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip and this is a really cool blouse pattern which has got 
um, very intense pleating around the waist that then fans out um, to the hem and also creates some volume in the um, bust area of the pattern. You've got options for a grown on short sleeve and it's got like a little round almost like granddad collar um, or you've got an option where the sleeve is grown on but then it's a, there's another piece to the sleeve which makes it into a full length sleeve with a little cuff um, the cuffs gathered in uh, sorry the sleeve is gathered into the cuff um, and the pleating that runs across the the waist at the front also runs all the way across the back as well so it would just be a lot of fun to sew um, definitely fits in with the origami theme and you know the pleating and um, I just think you know really interesting garments we can make and it'd be a lot of fun to wear um, so this would be suitable for lots of different fabric types um, double georgette gauze cotton shirting that sort of thing but i thought the short sleeved blouse would look lovely sewn up in a peach skin we've got some gorgeous plain peach skins on the website they come in a range of colors um, and it's a lovely luxurious feel to it um, and it's as the name suggests with peach skin it's got that lovely sort of fuzzy soft feel to it like a peach skin that's where it gets its name um, but I just think this would hold the pleats really well but it's lightweight enough that it wouldn't be too bulky and this sort of wisteria lilac -y colour um, is just you know so popular this year really fashionable um, and I just think it'd make a real special occasion blouse that would feel very very special um, with all those lovely pleats and shaping on it. The next pattern I chose was Vogue 1710. So a couple of the bees, um, rather than sort of doing pleats, went for like a, a dramatic ruffly type shape that you get in origami. And this jacket totally nails that. Um, it's got, it runs in sizes eight to 24. So eight is a 31 and a half bust, 24 waist and 33 and a half hip. And a 24 is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. Um, and it's a little, it's a cropped sort of quite boxy shaped jacket. It's got, um, it finishes, it's got a seam line just under the bust, which looks like it comes down at the back. Um, it sort of comes up into a V at the front and then runs right, like round the lower back. And it's got a gathered panel to bring it that, and the gathered panel finish, finishes just probably um, below the natural waistline, I would say. Um, it's got a lovely diagonal welt pocket sewn into the front, a nice neckband to finish the edge. And then it's got um, sleeves with a trumpet sort of um, cuff that's gathered um, to fit into the sleeve. But then it's also got a really unique, unusual design detail that it's got a ruffle flounce. Um, that goes in a circle round the elbow and there's a hole um, it's left empty in the middle so um, really unusual design details for anyone who just wants to make something totally different um, I think this looks like a really fun challenge and a really interesting pattern to make this one they suggest cotton blends, brocades, linen blends, that sort of thing. So again, I think the linen probably would work really well for this. Um, just a nice plain linen. Or you might be able to make it. It looks like they've almost looks like they've used a cotton, a double gauze for it. But I think I'd stick with the linen on that one, to be honest. But I thought that was a really fun and interesting pattern. And then finally, something a bit more wearable um, for every day, I thought would be nice to throw in. As I say, there are so many patterns on our website with pleats and origami style sort of details. Um, and I pop them all on the Pinterest board so you can find a link to that below. Um, but I just picked out one of the sort of more everyday wearable patterns that I thought was lovely for summer as well, which is Simplicity 9223. This runs in sizes 6 to 24. 6 is a 30 and a half bust, 23 waist, 32 and a half hip. And a 24 is a 46 bust, 39 waist and 48 hip. And it's just a really simple dress pattern. Um, there's an option for 
um, a sleeveless version or a short sleeve version. It's got a centre front seam and then on one side there's pleats um, that run down that one side of the dress and they fan out um, on the, to the skirt. It's just a really nice simple um, elegant pattern. It's got fish darts at the back for a nice shape at the back. Um, again, one for cottons and cotton blends, linens, that sort of thing, lightweight denims, which we've got all of those on the site. And just in case you're not into linen, um, it suggests cotton sateen would work well for that as well because of the holding the pleats. Um, I just thought I'd show you our Marmaris fabric, which is a John Caldor cotton sateen fabric. I thought that could work, work quite well for that dress. Um, and I'm showing you it in a lovely sort of peachy corally colour. Just trying to get the colour to pick up on the camera um, but we do it in other colours as well so I thought that would work really well for that dress. So I hope you've enjoyed that as I said at the start of the video everything I mentioned is linked below um, but yeah semi-final week not going to give anything away we don't do spoilers here but uh, certainly looking forward to next week to see who is going to be crowned the Sewing Bee winner of 2022. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.